Hey ladies, you've asked me for it and today I am doing it. I am sharing with you my everyday jewelry collection. So let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Laura and this is Executive Her. On this channel, I help women elevate their personal brands through modern elegance and also through style. So ladies, when it comes to jewelry, I absolutely love jewelry, but I try not to overconsume anything. So I try to purchase it strategically. So the first piece is my diamond earrings. So I absolutely love these earrings and I wear them almost daily. These are one carat or just over one carat and they're set in yellow gold. Next to them I have my yellow gold stud earrings. So when it comes to my diamond earrings, again I wear these practically every single day. I think they are gorgeous and I do believe that if you have an opportunity, every woman should own a pair of diamond earrings. They are classic, they're classy, they're pretty, they make you feel pretty, and they go with absolutely everything. I've had these diamond earrings for literally decades. I, again, I absolutely love them because I can wear them with anything and cost per wear. I have truly gotten my money's worth out of them. They look great, they're classic, and they are just one of those timeless pieces that will never go out of style. Now, for the most part, I do love yellow gold jewelry. I think it looks best on my skin complexion, and so I absolutely like the yellow gold. Also, when it comes to these studs here, I generally wear these every day as well, but sometimes I will trade them out because I do have a pair of diamond earrings that are very small and I will put those here. So when it comes to my earrings, I will wear these earrings or either I have some gold, yellow gold ball earrings and I also have pearl earrings. So you'll find me in those three pairs any, at any given point. Now I don't wear hoop earrings because I do like the studs. I just like the way that studs look. I think that when you have on studs, people see your face more so than they see the earrings. So those are my earrings. I absolutely love them. I never take them off. I even sleep in them. I shower in them. I do anything in these earrings. All right, next ladies are my necklaces. So for the most part, you will find me in these two necklaces. I generally wear these every single day. Now, when it comes to necklaces, I do have others, but these are the, just the ones that I prefer. So first is my diamond pendant necklace. This is just at a carat and it is set in yellow gold on this yellow gold chain as well. I think it's about 16 inches, if I remember correctly, or maybe 18. Also, I have on this Cartier, and this is the love necklace in the yellow gold. It has one single diamond next to it, and I like this piece as well. Now, one of the things that I do like about this necklace is that you can buy an extender or have an extender put on the necklace so that you can adjust it at three different sizes. Now, the one that I have, it has two different sizes. So I can adjust this. I can make this a little bit smaller if I want. So I usually layer these two together, but depending on the occasion, I may take off one. But for the most part, I have these on. I sleep in them. I shower in them. I only take them off when I am going to clean them. I even have them on if, let's say, I'm wearing a turtleneck. I just generally keep my jewelry on because it's just a little easier. So that is it for the necklaces. Again, I do have others, but these are the ones that I prefer. I love them. I like to layer them, and I think they go with absolutely everything that I wear. So next up, ladies, are the jewelry pieces that I wear on my wrist and also on my hands. So for the most part, what you will find me in is this for my left wrist and hand and this on the right. So with this, what I generally have on is, I generally have on my Cartier and this is the love bracelet in the size small yellow gold. Again, I like yellow gold. I just think it looks better on me and I have this in a small because I like to layer it. And so what I will do is I will have this on. Also, I have it on with this piece here. And this is a piece that my husband had made for me. It's actually a diamond that I had for another piece of jewelry that was set in another piece of jewelry, but he had it put on this chain so I could wear it daily. So that other piece of jewelry, that's a whole different discussion. And one day I'll share that with you guys. 
Next, I have on the Beat It bracelet by Zoe Levy. Now, I love this bracelet. This is the five millimeter beads. And again, it's an easy piece. It's 14 karat gold and I absolutely love it. And I like to stack these three together. So this is what it generally looks like. If I wear my watch, I will wear this watch. And this is my Rolex Date Just anniversary jubilee collection now what that is is if you look at the dial you'll see rolex written on it and i like to call it graffiti but i like it because it's different from all of the other date just that i see that do, that do not have it of course now i like it i think it's beautiful but for the most part you don't really see that unless you're really looking at the watch and if there's not a glare because sometimes with the light you truly can't see it this is the size 36 millimeter and i absolutely love the these four together. Now, this is what I generally wear. Now, depending on the occasion, I will take off maybe one or two of the pieces, but for the most part, I will wear them all together. Now, when it comes to my Rolex watch, I absolutely love the 36 millimeter size. The only downside to that size is I go to a lot of formal occasions. And so for formal occasions, I think it may be a little too big, although I love the bigger watch. But for a formal occasion, I like something a little daintier. So I do have my eye on another watch. We'll see if I get it. And if I do, I will share that with you. But for the most part, I absolutely love this watch. It is a beautiful piece. And it is just one of those pieces that has been around a long time. It has lasted me a long time. And I'm sure it's going to continue to hold its value. That's what I meant in terms of when you buy something, invest in something that really is going to stand the test of time. So next ladies are the rings that I wear on my hands. So I start with my Cartier love ring size small. Of course, this is also in the yellow gold. I then put on my wedding band, which is this diamond band set in a canal or a channel setting. And this band is about one carat. It is extremely old because I've been married a very long time. And so generally I will wear these two together if I don't feel like putting on my engagement ring. So then of course I put on my engagement ring. Now my engagement ring is set in yellow gold and it is 2.5 carats. So for the most part, this is what I'm wearing daily on my left wrist and also on my left hand. So next up is what I wear on my right hand. And on my right hand, I wear just one ring. And this is the Cartier Clash ring. This is from the Clash collection. This is in the small. Now this is in rose gold. And for the most part, I like yellow gold, but because this doesn't come in yellow gold and I really like the ring, I did get it in rose gold. So ladies, this is what I usually wear on my wrist and also on my hands. For the most part, those are the jewelry pieces that I wear every single day. I do own other things, fashion jewelry, some other fine pieces, but these are the things that I like to wear on any given day. And again, depending on the, the occasion, I may take one or two pieces off, but for the most part, these are my favorites. This is what I like to wear. And again, when it comes to buying jewelry, you want to make sure that you are buying things that are going to stand the test of time and that you're going to get your money's worth from. And if someone's going to gift jewelry to you, because I will confess that most of the pieces I have, my husband have gifted them to me. And so if someone's going to gift you something, make sure that you get something that again is going to last a long time. Even if you have to say to your significant other, your husband, your partner, whomever, Ask them not to give you several gifts for all occasions, but to give you one gift for all of those occasions. One gift to serve the purpose or a gift for every single occasion. That way you get a piece that is substantial that you can keep for a very long time. Because when it comes to jewelry, ladies, that is just something that one, you're going to love, especially if you like jewelry. Two, it's never going to go out of style. And three, you really are going to get the cost her wear. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for requesting this video and also thank you so much for watching. As always ladies, I'll see you next time.